Don't do this when you enter credit card payments in QuickBooks. Hey there, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Thanks for joining me in this video. So I got this question this week on uh, one of the uh, YouTube videos that I have out here. And I wanted to make this video about it because I, I do see this quite a bit and uh, it, it causes errors in QuickBooks. So I'm gonna tell you what not to do when you enter credit card payments in QuickBooks, but also show you how to do it. Now, this uh, usually comes up during the month. So sometimes people will send a payment to their credit card in the middle of the month, you know, uh, before they get their statement, they're not actually paying the minimum amount due, they're just making a payment. Let's say they're sending a hundred bucks to their credit card and they need to record this, okay? So the proper way to do this is during the month, I mean, you can literally just go to banking write checks. Now you may not be writing a physical check, but it could be an online payment, you know, whatever. But you go in and the easiest way is to go write a check and go to the credit card. Okay, so we'll say QuickBooks MasterCard and we will put in EFT for electronic funds transfer, or if you put debit or whatever it is, something to signify it's an online uh, payment. And you just put in a hundred bucks and then the account is going to be the credit card. So you want to make sure the account is the credit card. All right. So you go and record this. This is how you do this in the middle of the month is just go write a check, send a payment and it'll show up on your statement. So we hit save and close. Now, Here's what you don't want to do. So you get your statement at the end of the month. There, there's two ways. Some people get their statement. They enter all the charges, all the payments through uh, banking, uh, the, let's see, enter credit card charges. So they'll go in and they'll enter all, all their charges, even put in the refund credit, showing those as payments, and then go to reconcile their credit card. And the question I got this week was, well, if I follow this process, then my payments show up double. And the reason is, is because you recorded the payment during the month and then you also entered it uh, when you got your statement. So it's going to show up twice in the reconciliation. So the key here is you want to record it during the month like I showed you on write checks, but you don't want to enter it when the statement comes in. All right, because then you will have duplicate payments on the credit card. You're going to mess up the credit card balance and uh, you're going to have to go in and void or delete one of those uh, payments. Okay. Now, if you use bank feeds, which a lot of people do, the issue there is sometimes QuickBooks. So you have an option when you do a bank feed to either uh, match a transaction or add or ignore. Okay. So a lot of people will just go in and add the payment and not match it. So QuickBooks is great at trying to match transactions, but it's not always right and it doesn't always get it correct. So sometimes it'll say add and you just go through and you add, 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 and all of a sudden you have added duplicate payments because you recorded it once during the month and then you added it in the bank feed. So you want to make sure you don't add those payments if you have recorded them during the month as uh, a check written to pay whatever, a hundred bucks or whatever amount, whatever payment that was that you made. So instead, when you do the bank feed, you want to match that transaction and then that will keep you out of trouble. Okay. Or, you know, you can even ignore that transaction and just not even import it from the bank feed since you already made the payment. Then when you go to reconcile, everything will match up and you should be good to go. All right. So that's what not to do when you enter credit card payments in QuickBooks. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.